Hadley is at the World Heavy Oil Congress in Muscat. And Hadley, did you know the man you're about to interview is the longest standing energy producing minister in the world? I did know that, Steve, and it comes as no surprise to me, given the long uh, breadth of the information that we were hearing this morning from His Excellency. We're joined now, as you say, by a minister of oil and gas. Um, Dr. Alrumi, talk to me a little bit about Oman's strategic position here, because you mentioned a little earlier today in our panel that you were thinking about not just, you know, the supply, demand, you're also thinking about potentially major events that could upset price stability. What could potentially be an event that would upset what's happening today? Well, in this region, uh, it shouldn't be a surprise to you and your viewers that we are concerned about the political development uh, of the region particularly. We have conflicts uh, surrounding us. Uh, we are in an oasis of peace uh, as a country here. But we do know what's happening in, uh, in Yemen, for example. The disagreement uh, uh, that uh, includes the Iranian issue. Uh, if you go farther away from here to Syria and other, other conflicts. Middle East is unfortunately uh, not in a stable uh, position uh, uh, right now. And we are concerned. Uh, we are concerned. Uh, we are regarded as a high risk uh, region that affects our business, it affects our borrowing. And uh, it's something that all of us, uh, uh, the politicians as well as us, uh, who are trying to do technical things here and there, are, are concerned. Now, of course, in the past, Oman has played a very pivotal role in relationships between Iran and the United States, for example. Is there a role for Oman to play here? Because you say you are concerned about what's happening. Is President Trump making a mistake? We are continuing to do that. We, ha we, did, we have not stopped uh, our foreign, uh, uh, foreign affairs uh, minister was uh, in Washington recently. He met with officials, uh, I think Secretary of State, as well as the Defense Secretary in Washington. And Oman will continue to act as a bridge between uh, United States, who, who, whom we are very friendly with, uh, and other Western countries, as well as those countries that uh, the United States fear, like Iran. Uh, we have a very good relationship with Iran. And I think Oman will continue uh, to assist uh, for our own goods and for the good of mankind and for the good of the region here as well. We don't want to see conflicts uh, very close to, to our borders. We don't want to see conflicts anywhere in the world for that matter. And Oman will continue uh, to, uh, to serve the United States uh, should we uh, get an opportunity to do so in order to calm down uh, the nerves on both sides, I think. But in terms of market stability, price stability, mm -hmm. what's going to happen next here? Because you have Iranian crude coming off the market. Who's going to make up for that shortfall? Well, we have been assured uh, by some of our neighbors that they have the capacity, uh, production capacity, to increase production if required. Uh, because I think uh, there's a danger, as, as we've discussed earlier today, there's a danger that this, the demand will be impacted as well. So people often focus on the supply side, what happens if Iran stops supplying. But what happens if China stop, uh, reduce its consumption? Yeah, so we, we, are, we are looking at both, both sides of this discussion. Do you see that as a real possibility, given this U.S.-China trade war that we're seeing? I see that as a possibility as well, yes. Uh, I, definitely, if there's a serious uh, uh, trade uh, disagreement between, between United States and China, the Chinese consumption of energy will be impacted uh, negatively from our point of view. I think their ability to produce and export will be impacted. And I think, and many people agree with me, that the demand will be impacted. Finally, so that, uh, that's not good for us. And then finally, sir, Your Excellency, this is a big question every other court is asking you. I asked you this earlier today. Mm. What's your outlook for prices? Are we going to see $90 per barrel, as many analysts are telling us? I don't think so. I think uh, for the rest of this year, we should see stability uh, between 70 and, and high 70s, uh, or low 70s to high 70s, because this is the wish of all of us who are cooperating with, uh, with OPEC to, to uh, provide the, uh, the, the market with enough crude 
to make sure that the consumers are not impacted. And we think the current price is a fair price that will uh, enable us to, uh, to sustain our investment and continue the business uh, uh, that will give us a guarantee of some form that uh, the future is brighter than when the price was in the 30s and 40s uh, a couple of years ago. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.